This is Dabu7. I want to share with you here information and footage showing this 900% increase of Chinese nationals entering into the United States illegally. We're back out here in the field working on our story on the Chinese nationals that are being apprehended in this sector. Uh, actually, right behind us, we have five Chinese nationals, all men, 91% of the Chinese nationals being apprehended in this sector are uh, single adults. So uh, we're working on the story, and it's pretty alarming. I've been covering the border the last couple of years, but it's really alarming to see the amount of Chinese nationals that we're seeing here uh, in this sector. And you can see here in this footage by the bus loads, they are coming in. These are being released to an NGO in Brownsville, Texas. Mm. They say they are being released with notices to appear in court because there's so many of them crossing and there's no space to keep them in the town. This is an invasion, ladies and gentlemen. 900% increase. They're dumping them all over the place. Men of fighting age. I hope you're all ready because this is what's going down. Shalom, shalom, y'all. So all I'm going to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashev, Yahweh Shah, Bahashev, Rahakadash, which are the Pale of Hebrew Tons, created as any father, the son, the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to you, sister, brothers, letting this truth. And shalom to the brothers and sisters that's listening and studying and show themselves approved. Shalom. Now, as you did seen, come on, man, this, this, Hey, you got to see this coming, Yashrala. You got Moabites, which are Asian, Chinese, Chinese nationalists. So they proud. He said the majority men, 91% men, young, you know, of, of fighting age, are coming through Mexico. You know, they just had what, the, the, the spy balloons come through not too long ago. So now you're seeing them come right through Mexico, you know, like I know. Ain't no reason for the Chinese to be in Mexico. None. And then, check this out, y'all, Sharala. Babylon the Great lets him right on in. What is that, NGO in Texas? Come on, man. You got to see, like, <laughs> like, and I love it, too. I'm loving the house of David right now. Like, I'm loving how Maya Harlem, you know, the, the, the elder in Kansas City, you know, he's seen that. That clip on Dabu 77 like I did. And he, you know, it's a good lesson to watch, Joshua. Go watch that lesson. Like he he came to the same conclusions I did when I seen it. So it lets me know, like, man, we in the spirit, man. It's a beautiful thing to have the house of David, where we have real leadership, you know, that's leading us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And and you got brothers, you know, you got like-minded brothers. Like I finally have people that think like I do. You know, you grow up kind of being isolated and, you know, being different for so long. And it's like now, you know, there's brothers out there. There's people that think just like you do. For example, I did a lesson on the new, you know, that new fungus virus they got. And I look up one of the other brothers in Kansas City did, did the same lesson, had the, you know, same talking points. I'm just like, wow, man, we we really in the spirit, you know, so. Hey, call how long Yahweh Bashiya was shy for raising up the house of David and giving us, you know, real leadership. You know, for us, you know, brothers that's listening, you feeling isolated, man. You can just pop on a lesson thanks to the unicorn, you know, which is the internet, and, and get comforted, man, with the words of Yahweh Bashiya was shy. Because, you know, like the day I got off working with the cleaning up and, you know, I just ate on about four or five lessons. All the ways I did this lesson, you know, probably more than that. You know, since I got to work, I just lesson after lesson, back after back. And it's just, it's a very comforting thing. You know, and I'm loving it. And I'm like, man, I, like, I was just about to do a lesson on it. And I look up, Margaret Holler all over, you know. And I, I'm going to still do one, but it's like, man, it's just like we, we on the same thought pattern. It's a beautiful thing, okay. To get them back on point, <laughs> back on these Chinese nationals that are coming up through Mexico. Now, why are they doing that, Yashrala? Man, that's the invasion. And it's like, like I said, I did it in a lesson earlier. Like Babylon the Great and China, they in cahoots to a sort, you know? They they letting them in. 
And what Jake needs to know is that these Chinese nationals, Esau's going to use them to jump on Jake, man. You know, this is nothing new. You go to Psalms chapter 83 and they got all the, the heathen nations that's against us, man. Moab, the Chinese, is one of them. They hate Jake's too. Esau on the phone like, I got a Jake problem. They over here producing to so many of them. They all in the hood. They got guns. Now I need help. You know, Esau is, is a small portion now. So he, he's calling up Moab, telling Moab, we got to do what we did back in the day, man. We got to knock these Jakes down, man. They up here getting their ID back, calling themselves Yashar Allah, calling the name of their power. We got to do something about that, man. This is going to kick off Jacob's trouble because World War III is going to first be a, a war on Jake. You know, they're going to fight each other. You know, he's going to gather out the nation. They're going to fight, you know, for the, for the power vacuum. Who's going to be number one? But the initial push, how I believe, Yashrala, is they're going to attack Jake's. So these Chinese nationals are coming in through the border. And Esau going to send them right to the hoods, man. He's going to put an a, a AR-15 in their hands and tell them, hey, man, go through, kick their doors in, and, you know, do what you do. Mr. Muyagi. And they're going to go in there and, hey, Jake ain't going to see it coming, man. Jake don't even know about this information that's coming out. You know, your average Jake, you know, the only ones that know about this is the hopefully elect, you know, the, the men and women that's paying attention to the house of David. You know, we're going to be ready for it. So now you're saying, Yashua, it's not just going to be Edomites. It's going to be Moab, Ishmael coming. You know, they're going to team up with Iran and, and Saudi Arabia and Pakistan and all them little countries. They're going to get their truth. That's why the scriptures say, they're going to come in like a flood, man. The heathen are going to come in with great numbers. You know, North Korea just had, what, 1.4 million people signed up for their military in three days? You know, Mike Holler covered that as well. Like, come on, y'all, Sharala. Like, matter of fact, check it out. There it go, right there. Come on. What do you think they about to come do? They about to come over here and jump on Jake, man. Esau going to run in his bunkers. You know, all the, the elite established Edomites. And they're going to let these, you know, all these little heathen military, that red horse the scriptures talk about, just run through, you know, the people. And primarily Jake. This is going to kick off Jacob's trouble. We're seeing the beginning of that. Like Esau's setting up for that big push, you know, come down with wrath, you know, because Jake is still producing. Jake really getting their stuff together, man. Like, Jake ain't really game-banging like that. Like, the rap music done lost his luster. Jake really getting jobs now. You know? You know that the, the Northern Tribe got it going on as far as Tulsa, Oklahoma goes. They on the east side. You know, they doing what we did back in the Black Wall Street days. So, they seeing them Jakes. The Northern Tribes go hard. Southern Tribes, you know. You know, the men, you know, they getting their stuff together, man. Now, the women, I don't know, man. They, they thotting it up. But as far as men, they, you know, they they getting their stuff together, man. Getting their passports and going to get them some, some women they can actually do something with. You know, Jake is, Jake don't want to game bang no more like he used to. Game, Jake, Jake want businesses, you know. So, and Esau see that, man. And Jake is, is very, you know, fruitful. We spread our seed around and, you know, we make Jake's like it's, it's nothing. So Esau, he, he see he needs help. They don't have enough Edomites, enough Babylonians. You know, if you just go mano, you know, mano a mano, they can't beat Jake. We're too numerous. Now, they got technology on their side, which is going to give them a great advantage. But I just wanted to say, if it was like, you know, infantry, you know, man to man, Esau lose. He doesn't have the numbers. Jake is too numerous, man. And Jake is resilient. You know, Jake, we, we some very strong, tough people. When you just look at everything we went through, I be looking and I be like, I see why Esau is scared, man. Because, like, no other group of people can go through what Jake went through and still be here. And still be here strong and thriving. Jake is starting to thrive. Jake is starting to, you know, really hit it on the head, man, and really turn the corner. So this devil, like, I got to do something, throw them off. And I don't have the numbers. And Esau weak. So he over there on the phone talking to Moab, you know, China, like, man, come on through. And not only is it going to be China, because I got my eyes open, Yashua. I'm trying to see, okay, if, if China is sneaking through Mexico, where is Russia sneaking in through? Don't forget about them either. They're, they're calling their homies on the East Coast. 
you know, Putin, you know, they, hey, I need help, man, these Jakes over here getting their stuff together, they got guns and stuff, you know, they strong, so the, the Edomites trying to click up, man, they need help, and, and you know, these Babylonians gonna just let them, let them in, so I'm trying to see, it might, like, Russia might be trying to sneak in through the north, man, I need to try to keep my eye on Canada and see if they coming through that border, because now we see China coming through Mexico, so they're already sending their infantry troops through Mexico so they can get them, you know, in good positions. And they're going to, you know, give them, you know, the, the, the arms they need, the guns, the, the, the tanks, the, the Humvees. And they're going to, hey, this Jake neighborhood, hey, clean it up. And then y'all go get this Jake neighborhood. And I got troops to back you up. That's why we're going to really need the Lord, man. We're really going to need that standard lifted up. Because this devil's about to come in with great numbers. I mean, he know what he up against. So he's trying to call in the whole Calvary. They trying to, it's, man, let's, uh, matter of fact, let's go to the scriptures. Let's go to the scriptures, man. I can't contain it no more. Let's go to Psalms 83 and 5 so I can make my point. Because they, they're, they're still confederate, man. And they clicking up. So let's check it out. This is Psalms 83 and 5. For they have consulted together one consent. They're confederate against thee. Against us, Yasharala. The tabernacles of Edom, so-called white man, and the Ishmaelites, the Arabs, Middle Easterns, of Moab. There go your, your Chinese that's sneaking through the Mexico border right now. You know? And it said the Hagarines, which they talk, them, them is Hamites, your Africans. You know, they're going to try to come in back, though. Gabal and Amon, uh, another group of Edomites, and then Amon, that's your Japanese. They're going to come in too. And then Amalek, which is the, the leadership of Esau, you know, your Ish people, and the Philistines, which are Hamites, and the inhabitants of Tyre, you know, the Hamites, you know, because, but I'm looking, I don't think, I don't think them Hamites going to help them like that, man. I think Hamites been kicked in the butt too much. They just trying to pick up their pieces, man. <laughs> You know, so I don't see him, like, helping them out too much, man. Him over there trying to clean up the damage that Esau done did to his country. But best believe, I know there's two groups that really hate, really three, that really hate Jake a lot. Well, they all hate Jake, but best believe Ishmael, the Middle Easterns, and, and, and Moab, and Ammon too, and Edom, they, 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 they talking right now. They trying to get their numbers together to come up against Jake to knock Jake off. And the the elite Edomites, Amalek knows about the 144,000. That's why he's trying to get such a big military of company because they know when they attack Yasharala that the whole Fulek is in that group as well. You know, they're in that group as well. And that's going to be their biggest issue, which really that's going to be their L. You know, that's why I'm looking like, you know, bring it on, little heathens. <laughs> I'm ready for y'all. So let's get to uh, Revelation 6 and 4. Because they they about, they about getting in position. Man. I think this summer is going to be all about positioning to jump on Jake. So check it out. This is Revelation 6 and 4. Oh, and accept the MOTB as well. You know, let me put that in there too. So this is Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that set the run to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Russia's military is red. China's military is red. That's going to be your red horse. And what does scripture say? He's going to be given a great sword. And that's, that's two really your strongest militaries in the world right now. China and Russia. Because Babylon the Great, I feel like now is third. So you probably got Russia number one or maybe China number one. And But them two going to click up. Your red horse. And they're about to do what? Come and invade Babylon the Great. And when they invade Babylon the Great, do you not, man, they're going to attack Jake the most. Because they're going to feel like it's Jake's fault. And, like, these, these are elite, you know, leadership. Like, Putin and the Russians, they know who we are. The, the Chinese president, you know, whatever his name is, Z something, he knows who we are. They got people watching these lessons that we doing. So they going to, like, hey, we got to attack these, you know, Israelites. And get rid of them, you know, before they power get her and take over. 
So, you know, they might come through and attack some of the little militia groups of Edomites, but the primary target is going to be Yashar Allah. And then it's going to be easy work for the two-thirds. Two-thirds are not prepared for this. They don't know what's coming. And they're going to be, you know, they're going to be thrust through by the sword, man. A gun, man. Russian troops going to kick in. Shuka slock them. You know, the Chinese dude, you know, he's going to come in, you know, hurry up and shoot. <laughs> hurry up and shoot. <laughs> you know, and gun, gun Jake down, man. You know, because Jake is just, the two-thirds is not ready for this, man. And I'm going to go to this right here. Let's go to second address. Because this is about address to let you know they're going to come in on 16 and 70. Check it out. This is second address, 16 and 70. For there should be in every place and in the next city is a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Here goes 71. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. They said, man, they're going to be like madmen. They're going to come in, you know, uh, Eve thinks she, you know, a uh, savage, strong and independent. We're going to see when them spashing that troops kick in your dough. Then we're going to see how strong you is. You know, there's going to be men getting jacked up. Only ones going to have any chance of surviving this are only the hopeful elect. That's it. Only ones going to have a chance of surviving this because, man, they about to come. Hey, it's going to be like a extermination squads. Here goes 72. It's going to back it up some more. 72. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. That's why they sending them Chinese troops through Mexico, man. Setting up a military. They probably going to have um, the National Guard backing them up. I'm saying they're about to come in with a strong force because it's not just going to be U.S. military attacking Jake. It's going to be with the combined forces of the Chinese military. It's going to be the combined forces of the, the Russian military. And then me and my op, Kadar Sahan, was talking earlier. Then that will get in the right. Oh, we need U.N. troops to help defend. And then the U.N. troops going to come in and attack Jake as well. So that's like an overwhelming number of military power coming to attack a group of people who have no military power. So what power is going to defend us, man? And see, it's going to hit on 73. Check it out. This second edge is 16 and 73. Then should they knowing who are my chosen and they should be tried as the gold in the fire. Woo! What do you mean by then should we know who are my chosen? Oh, the Lord's military going to kick in then? That's what's about to happen. They about to, man, this big military force about to get batted back when 144,000 get woke up with their spiritual power. When you see like Superman and, and Black Adams, you know, uh, you know, dudes doing things like the Avengers and X-Men. When they get the, when we get these special abilities, man, we're going to bat them back. They're going to be up there on the phone like, hey, man, I didn't sign up for this. What the heck was that that he just did? Are you serious? You know, when brothers get that strength like Samson, be ripping tanks up like the Credible Hulk. That's what's about to... See, the elites know. That's why they're trying to get this big, giant, supersized army. Because they know that there are certain men in the nation of Israel that's going to get these abilities, man. And that right... That's what I said. They think they about to do something and take over. Really, Yahweh Shah about to take over. Because when he raised his military up, it's going to you know, destroy all these other heathen militaries easily, easily, man. Especially when y'all were shot in them chariots. You know, then he even said he's going to have the Archangel Michael fight on our behalf. You know, it's going to be that chariot battalion, man. man. DG heathens ain't got nothing for that. That's what I'm looking like. <laughs> heathen, bring it on. Do you know what you're doing? You, you are setting up your demise. Because brothers done put in work. We got the faith. And we like, man, I wish you would kick my dough in and, you know, try to, you know, do something to me. Because like that scripture said, then you're going to know who my chosen is. And see, I'm ready to find out if I'm one of those chosen. That's why I put in work like I do, Yashra Allah. That's why I, I keep the faith, you know, and endure like I do. Because I want to see, am I, you know, loved by your Habash Yavashah? Am I going to get that standard lifting on my behalf? Only one way to find out. So I'm looking at them heathens like, you know. Do what you do. I'm not worried about no, you know, more bites. No Chinese man coming through the border. You know, I know why you coming through the border. And I'm looking like, you know, <laughs> bust your move. And we gonna see. 
Because like the scripture said, we're going to know who are my chosen. And, you know, he said, like, they should be tried. So we're going to be tried. And they might run in on the ground, you know, renounce, you know, yeah, I was shy. I heard you saying that. And, you know, that's going to be our trial right there. And we got to, you know, go to that fire so we can be that goal. So I'm ready to be tested because I know the test is coming. So, hey, Lord willing, like I said, we part of the whole flat and we endure to this. And we get that, hey, which, let me go get that. This is like my favorite precept. I meditate on this precept, y'all, Sherala. Let's go to Isaiah 59 and 19. This is one of my favorite precepts. I, when they come in like a flood, when this military come in, this is going to go on the play. And I'm, I'm very anticipating and waiting on this scripture right here. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy should come in like a flood. Big time numbers. The spirit of the Lord should lift up a standard against him. That's when the spiritual power will go into play. That, that standard being lifted is going into that power. You know, however it manifests. You know, whatever, you know, how to, however the Lord delivers you at that time. It's going to be some power behind that. And that's when it's going to come in when these he just come in with their numerous military numbers, man. It's going to be like a flood, an overwhelming flood. Like we're going to see probably 5,000, you know, military troops running down our block. And they just, you know, like the scripture said, running like a madman. You're going to see Jake's get tossed at the house, stripped, you know, blew back, you know. And then you're going to be like, they running up on me next. And then you're going to, hey, we're going to have to call them the name of the Lord. Hey, we got to lock in then, Akio. We got to lock in. Because then we're going to find out. So it's coming. And it's going to come during that time. They Esau's about to make his move, man. That great wrath, like Revelation chapter 12 talks about. He, he, he like, he's so scary. You know Esau's scary, oh coward. So he's he's going to get a big help. You know, they always need big numbers to deal with Jake. And he, this is the biggest move he ever going to make ever. So he needs a, a big giant battalion of soldiers. Not just enough for his. Because like my Holler did a lesson. I think, what did he say? Babylon the Great got about 492,000 um, active military troops. And then like so many in the reserve. I think it went up to like a million. And I'm like, shit, China got about what? Three million infantry? Russia, and tell me how many numbers they got. You just seen North Korea just got 1.4 million added on to whatever they had. So, and you add them all together, man, they about to come in by the millions. By the millions. But you ain't worried about it. Because that standard get lifted. <laughs> then we're going to have some fun. We're going to be exterminating them. It's like, oh, man, look at all these roaches. <laughs> you know, and I got the raid, baby. <laughs> So let me hear verse 20, man. This is Isaiah 59 and 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression, and Jacob saith the Lord. So Yahweh is going to show himself in his men at that time. He's going to show himself in that power. That's when the Redeemer is going to come down. When this devil think, oh, yeah, I'm about to, I'm putting my, my military in place. I got them over there, over there. Oh, yeah, we got to crush Yasharala. We're like, Psh. Hey, Lord, like, shaking his head like, boy, you just don't know, do you? You just don't know, do you? <laughs> you think they've been this out here, this cuz, talking about me? You think, I don't, I don't let these men put in work, you know, starting the apostles and elders. Apostles have been doing work for, you know, 40, 30 years plus. I think, Lord, Lord, looking like, you think I don't let them put in all that work and I'm thinking, I'm going to just let you crush them? Are you serious? You think my word gonna go out void? What did I just say, Isaiah 59 19? Lord looking like, <laughs> hey man, he like, man, checkmate. But move up on him if you want to. Watch what happens. Because the Lord's ready, like, the Lord been set back in the cut, letting Esau, you know, run all his wicked enterprises to where everybody think that the Lord don't even exist no more. You know, you have the Edomite, and they be honest, they say, ain't no God, you know? And that's how the world gets down. They get down like there is no God. So, Yahweh is about to let them know, like, hey, man, I exist in a major way. And how he going to show he exists through his men? <laughs> you know, that blood that's still here. 
He going to show it. And they, I'm telling you, man, it's going to make their jaw drop on the floor. They're going to run in fear. The fear of the Lord is going to be known when these devils try to, you know, rise up on us. They're going to get the two-thirds. You know, that's their right to get the two-thirds. Lord don't give a damn about a two-third. But the whole free leg, nah. Lord said, I got plans for the whole free leg. And then those men, I'm about to raise my men up again. I'm not about to just keep letting, you know, y'all just do what you want to do with my people. And just have your way with them. Nah, they cleaning they act up. They they praising my name. So I, I'm about to, you know, <laughs> I'm about to show myself and my men. I'm about to show you. I, I love Yashar Allah. I love Yashar Allah. Them is my people. So I'm about to hey, give my men that power so they can go ahead and hey, get the world again. And it's going to start, you know, with Yahweh Shai. The one, you know, he's going to get that glory, man. The one that shed his blood for that nation. He got to get that glory, man. Like you said, and the Redeemer should come to Zion. Who's the Redeemer? That's your Howard Shai. He's looking to redeem us. We, we need redemption, man. We need to be brought back up. We need that power. And that's why we're in the spirit of repentance. Mourning. We bagging. Your how about your Howard Shai? That's why, man, it be... It be on brother spirit to do these lessons, man. We be dead tired going through the most, man. I'm still putting in work, man, because we we want that crown. We want it. We want rulership. We, we, we tired of getting ruled over by heathens, man. We tired of that. So we crying out to our power like we sorry. Take us back. What we got to do? I ain't, I'm, I'm going to eat right. I'm going to keep the laws best of my abilities. You know, I'm going to prophesy, I put in the work, do your legacy. Because we ready to, hey, we ready to, hey, beat chess on these heathens, man, when they come in like a flood. Hey, we ready to do them like some ants. You know, beat them back. You know, uh, get the roaring like lions. Matter of fact, let me end off. Let me go get uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7, and I'm going to go to what, what I wanted to make that point on. Because we're about to go into that time, man. We're about to go into Jacob's trouble. And it's Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Woo! That's why the Lord made me go there. Because it said, What? He shall be saved out of it. Who's that he, man? Going to the whole free elect. Say he should be saved out of Jacob's trouble is going to be crazy. You gotta think of all the technology that these, these heathens got, man. China got hypersonic missiles, all kind of high tech stuff we ain't even they ain't even pulled out of shoulders yet. Russia, Babylon, you know, even Babylon the Great got stuff they ain't even showed us yet, man. This thing's about to be crazy. You gonna see it's gonna get so bad. They're like, oh man, unleash the Terminators. Where are the super soldiers out and cooked up in the laboratory? Unleash them too. It's about to be crazy. Let me tell you. But something my spirit let me know, like, yeah, we about to have fun during this time. Jacob's Trouble about to be a fun time. We about to get our hands on them. Because this, this is what's beating on my spirit for Jacob's Trouble. Like, Jacob's Trouble is not, I, I'm not anxious at first for it. Lord put on my spirit, like, I'm going to have fun during that time. I'm going to get free. It's almost like I feel like I've been in prison. And when Jacob's Trouble hit, I'm going to be released i'm going to get out i'm going to be able to do what i want to do and this is micah 5 and 7 and the remnant of jacob shall be in the midst of many people hey all them little soldiers and stuff and as the dew from the lord as the showers upon the grass that tarry not for man nor have waited for the sons of men and here we go we're going to point it in micah 5 and 8 and the remnant of jacob hopefully let Shall be among the Gentiles, all them goddamn heathens in their military, in the midst of many people, as a lion among the beasts of the forest, and as a young lion among the flock of sheep, who, if he go through, broke treaded down the turf in pieces, and none can deliver. Be ready to be made, those young lions among sheep, man. A sheep ain't got no type of chance against no young lion, man. A young lion is a ferocious beast. 
It'll tear man a whole flock of sheep up. And that's how it's going to be when the men get their spiritual power. We're going to run through all these heathens military and, and they're going to be running from us because we're going to be a hey, something vicious, ferocious, you know? Like that last movie I seen, uh, what was that, uh, Black Adam with the Rock, that really resonated with me. And they put a lot of points in there to let you know, like, it, it was very, you know, it, it, they put their demonic stuff in there, but it also had a, a lot of spiritual significance of it. And I really see why they, they smashed the rock and they didn't like that movie because it's really showing what these scriptures are talking about, man. The men get that power, you know, <laughs> when you got abilities like that, you know, hey, what's a F-22? What's a tank? What's an AR-15? Man, that's going to be tickling brothers out here, man. Man's going to be running, man. You see how he just ran through that whole military and he first popped up on the scene, The Rock? Like, if you ain't seen that movie, go watch that movie, Black Adam. Very spiritual movie, Aki. And Aqua, if you ain't seen that, go see that movie. That's what you're going to, that's going to be reality. It's not just fantasy. That's why Esau got mad and kicked the rock out because Esau seen the significance of that movie, the spiritual significance. Like, I seen it. And it pissed him off. He probably looked at the rock like, how dare you make something like that? That made me feel some type of way. You know what? No more superhero movies for you. <laughs> you know? And I was like, dang, that was a good movie. You know, Esau didn't like that. Esau didn't like that one bit. Esau didn't like none of the movies no more. That's why they all go in the trash. All the more, new Marvel movies, all the stuff they're making now is trash. Because Esau like, hey, man, I don't want to see that no more. Because Esau knows it's about to be a reality. He know it is. So he's trying to, like, you know, he, he want to push him LGBT stuff, some old, you know, something to bring the vibration down. He don't want spiritual men seeing spiritual things and then being motivated no 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 plus that's probably like putting fear in his heart when he watched that when i watch spiritual things like that it amps me up so if it's amping me up what you think he's doing to esau man it's probably putting fear in his heart like hey man i don't like that movie matter of fact we ain't making no more movies like that we're going straight lgb alphabet agenda for everything no more superhero movies, <laughs> you know, because they know what's about to go down. You know, all these little heathens do, man. That's why they're trying to jump on Jake. They're trying to jump on Jake, like, you know, soon. Because, like, they, they, they see these lessons we do, man. They know about the house of David. And that's what really strikes fear in their heart because they're in the back of their mind. They're like, like, everything I just said in this lesson, they're like, what if he's right? What if those men are going to get spiritual powers? Then what? And that, that's what's killing them. And that's what's really keeping them at bay right now. Because it's that what if. And we over here like, ain't no what if. We going to get it. You know, we waiting on you. You know, so the Lord going to get it where they going to, you know, they going to make their move. They ain't going to wait no more. Like, man, forget it, man. We got to just attack them. And hope we clean their clocks and hope, you know, that, you know, they no good. So they, they, they put all their cards on that. Because like the scripture said, they're going to come down with great wrath. Led by Esau. Esau going to make all the heathens jump on us, man. They probably going to be like, nah, wait. Esau like, nah, we got to do it now, man. They over there taking my wife. She done left me for a Jake. We got to take him now. You know, his daughter's just leaving. You know, you look at Bill Gates. His daughter got a Jake. Like, you know. So it's definitely going to come down with great wrath, y'all Shirala. And, and we ready for it, man. You know, if you've been in this truth, eating this lesson up, you know, reading the word, man, build your spirit up. Get edified. Build up. That way you can be feeling like how I feel. Like, I'm ready for them to make the move. Like, I'm over there like, y'all should have came on us yesterday, man. What you, what you waiting for? I know what you're going to do. Come on and do it. So then we can see, you know, where we at. We can see our lots. You know, I feel good about my lot. And I'm ready to receive spiritual power. I believe I will receive spiritual power. So only one way to find out. The devil's got to come and jump on us. And so I'm not afraid of the moment. I'm ready for the moment. And that's when your faith is at a good level. You know, that's when you know you really, like when you're not scared of it and you're ready for that moment, that's when you know you really 
you know, hitting your stride. That's when you built all the way up. You know, you like, I'm ready for these devils to make the move. They moving too slow for my liking, but like the scriptures say, we got to endure. We got to endure. So with that, Yashrala, I hope this has been edifying. I want to say, Kwame Yashrala, Detail Baba Ball, Shalom Wong.